Okay, so I'm doing this video because it's a, it's gonna be a good chat with the uh, LSR. So, hey guys. So um, this is about this artist that we know. We work on Ducktales Remastered with Armando. Armando was um, one of the artists, and I guess what I was telling Elzar was that like there's a there's a lot of artists that post art. Um, I don't mean to criticize everyone, but you know what? I'll just use myself to criticize. But when I post, there's several things to take into account, in my opinion. Age. When you're young, you're just posting for fun. Right? And here's an example of something like that. Um, have you seen new, new grounds? If you see new grounds, um, check this out. This is this is this is what all these youngsters are posting right now. Look at new grounds. Hmm. And when you look at these drawings, they're oh, that's fun. It, see, see your first reaction. That's fun, that's man. Fun. Right. Look at these. They're just like I'm having fun. But you know what I really look at? Like, yeah, that looks, looks great. I love those. Those are so cool. Yeah, but you know what's in my head when I look at these, like for reals? Yeah. They don't pay rent. And they're probably living with their parents still going to high school or junior high. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? No worries. They don't pay rent. I mean, you know, yeah. they have worries, but not like... Not like, you know, not like, like hey, I got to pay rent, so I'm going to go do this real quick. You know? Like, that's yeah, not the same yeah. stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. then you got, like, art station, right? Um, let's look at art station real quick. And then these are the guys that have to pay rent. And it's not the same yeah. vibe. This vibe yeah. is like, I need a job. Like, uh, it's like they got to prove something. Well, yeah. And it's like, hey, my mom's asking me to pay now. So this are, these are my capabilities, everybody. Can you help me pay? Yeah, right. And also, it, um, they it, got uh, school loans to pay. Yeah. And it feels like <laughs> it feels like it's a, their studies more than it is I'm having fun on a weekend, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm yeah. just letting you know how I feel. I don't know if that's what's going on. But that's what I get. And I feel like nostalgia. Like, I've always wanted to work on this project. So they're working on it. But this is very much like a uh, fart, sneeze, here you go. Her, her. Mm -hmm. Isn't this crazy, yeah. everybody? Da -da. All right. Well, maybe after school, I'll do something crazier. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying yeah. what the vibe is. Now, I'm, I'm 40 years old. And I'm telling you that, like, I want to get this vibe back. This this vibe. Yep. That's why I'm on new grounds. I'm on new grounds because this is the it's kind of feeling. Huh? Well, this is the feeling I need in my video game. The don't worry about rent. Don't worry about like. Cause I don't have to worry about that now. Like I got a job. I'm cool. I'm settled. Now it's time. I don't want my I don't want my project to carry on my my rent. I want my project to carry on the vibes I had when I was in junior high. You know. Right. We right. Didn't, we you didn't care about those things. It was in yeah. high school where you're like, yo, people are getting pregnant. Oh man, people are dropping off of school because they got to get a job. Right. And Newgrounds, to me, it's the junior high of art. You know, that's my opinion. I mean, yeah, just yeah. look at that and the way it's done. And uh, there's, I was looking at Instagram and I ran into Armando. And you know, he's an, he, he, you know, he's a little older than I am, but the thing is, is that his stuff carries that new ground thing. You know, like yeah, who does yeah. that on his arm and posts it? Yeah, right. For fun, dude. And not only that, it's done well. Yeah, yeah. No, I love Armando's work so much. Yeah, like something like I that. Admire I admire him so I would, much. I think I would have proofed it out myself and not given a damn. But to put white on the on the green there, you mm -hmm. have to have given a damn, dude. Yeah. On yeah. top of that, it looks silly. You know? Right. Right. Um, it's fun. It's just having fun, man. It's well, always been like that. Yeah. And then, like, you look at that. He doesn't take himself seriously, dude. Like, mm -hmm. look at that drawing. Yeah. That's art to me, man. You yeah. know? It's about not giving a damn what people think. You're just doing it because you want to do it. Look at and this one in particular, too. Like, when I look at this, he's having a good time, dude. I don't think he's thinking yeah. of right or wrong. He's just doing it. You know? Right. Right. Um, and then, you know, you see what he's capable of, too. Man. It's a beautiful talent. Amazing. You know? But look at this drawing on the left. That's not even the focal point. And look how twisted it is. He does it for fun. Yeah. So if anybody wants to see a dude not let life get 
you know, like, let weigh in on your art, it, it's this guy. And he's teaching me a great, big lesson, like, don't let your life or life weigh you down, you know? On your, yeah. art, your art should be separate from that. Look at that to Eddie Moreno, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good times. That looks just like Eddie, dude. Yeah. Hey, man, look at these drawings, man. What the hell? Wow. Right? Jesus. Dang, dude. His line quality has always been, like, amazing. He draws this, like, straight up, too. He doesn't, like, do sketches right underneath or anything like that. No. He just draws it, like, straight up. We, we did caricatures together. Man, look at that's that. so cool. These are people. That's amazing. I love that so much. That's so cool. It reminds me of, um, I think it was Corny, Corny Cole that, that said it, you know? And I was telling this to my son the other day, you know? Um, draw like you were a kid. You know, it's hard. I got to tell it's you. Hard. It's hard. It's hard to draw like you were a kid, cause, you know? Because when life, when life gets you, dude, you know, like, when you, when you get family members who are sick or, you know, you got children, it ain't the same, you know? But yeah. Look, look and at also, it. you know what it is too, is that um, people tell you that w what you should do to learn how to draw, you know, like you should draw the head like a sphere. You should do all, draw all these like tubes and spheres to create the body, you know? And so you learn these things, these tricks or these lessons that you're supposed to do, right? And then you kind of forget how to draw like a kid. You know, when my boys were growing up and um, and they drew like, you know, like um, anything on the piece of paper or whatever, right? I used to always like, that's awesome, you know? Uh, because that's what Corny was telling us to do, you know? draw like your kid and they were doing it and yes it was that freshness that like not caring what people think you know i i wanted to impart that in them that draw like you know just draw you know and whatever you come up with is awesome you know look at this um, these scenes because it's hard to get back what you know like hell, what man? what armando's doing it's hard to get get back to that and i've been trying to i don't know maybe i'm not trying hard enough but well, i, I wish i could do that i think that's the key i think the key is not to try i mean he doesn't take himself seriously i mean look he puts burritos in here and rice along with these drawings mm -hmm. he doesn't think you know he um gave diego a really pretty drawing just gave it to him I'm like wow that's so cool yeah but yeah look isn't that cool that's great yeah he's just that's great he doesn't care. He's just here. look at that. Look at how like you know he divided like he subdivided the flesh. Oh. You know that's really cool. Well, for me, where do you come up with that? You know, for me the biggest lesson is like um, for me the biggest lesson is separate your life and what weighs you down from your art, and don't let your art reflect that, and just have a good time. Unless you want, I can. You know what? I take it back. Unless you want that, I'll tell you what. I want what I'm. Yes. Yeah. I, if people want to do that, go ahead. Sorry, I don't want to say that. Uh, I want to say uh, I want what Armando has, and I I don't want my uh, I want my art to be fun. Yeah, I wanna I wanna draw people throw up microbes and crap. This is some, there's something really freaking funny about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Look at he doesn't care, dude. He's just putting yeah, stuff up. Yeah. It's, he's having fun. Oh, dude, he's having That's the thing, man. Have fun, right? Yeah. yeah. Have fun. Don't take yourself so seriously. For some people, right? They some people they want to use their art for specific for for specific things, you know. I'm trying to get back to this, you know, where because you know I feel like we're at a point in our lives like okay, we're we're working, right? We're working. We've had like a long, like a relatively long career like how many years now right yeah 15 to 20 years no 20 years probably yeah um and it's like now i kind of like man i, I just want to draw like a kid again you know 
Well, my game definitely needs that. Like my the next project I have, the the rooster game that I'm gonna do, the, the rooster one. That one's not about fun. That's a little different. That's like a, that's more intense. But for my game right now, I really need this vibe. Look what he did. Look before and after. <laughs> Good for him, man. That's cool. That's cool. I like these uh, Mayan like drawings. Yeah, I really. F I remember talking to him about that when we were working together. Oh, what the hell? Wow. How do you think like that, man? Look at that dog. That's him. Holy smokes. That's that, my friend, is designed. Yeah. Oh, dude, so cool. These are sick. He needs a humble caricature artist, you know. Just doing caricatures. Yeah, he's like one of the most talented people I think I've ever met, you know? Look at that tiger. Look at that. So badass. He did one like this and he gave it to Diego. That's Diego cool. Asked for it and I was like, you, oh, bro. That's the first time I was like, dude, I wanted that. <laughs> he should have asked for us, bro. First I, off, I, I thought he was possessive, man. Like some artists, like, no, nah, man, I can't give it to you. But he's like, here, here you go, here's the original. I'm like, what? See, see, man, he belongs in new grounds. What the hell? I think I'm gonna start doing stuff like this. Just he has a, he has find, a great eye. Finding the fun in things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. It doesn't have to be in the drawing. It can just be like I think that's what I I need to brainwash myself in, into this because I I think we forget. Just be silly. Oh. Wow! Look at that. That's so cool. <coughs> Yeah. Oh, look at this. I freaking love that. What the hell is going on in there? And this guy literally posts everything, yo. He draws a lot. And, and you know, a lot of people, when they post, in my opinion, um, again, and I hate to keep judging people, but when they post, they post for like a portfolio for something, you know, or a great thing they've done. Armando, I think he's just doing it. I don't think he has any... Does he put any hashtags? He does. Okay. The guy's just like doing stuff. St uh, enough stuff that if you did come across it, you'd be like, is this serious? Like, what? Like, here. Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> That's damn funny. Look what he did to her chest. Yeah. So if I ran into this, I'd be like, this guy's a genius. What's going on here? But then out of nowhere, he has this stuff. Oh, that's a great band. You could still be a genius. Look at that band, man, dude. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> that is indeed I'm a band vampire man. bat. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah, that's really cool. That's good. That's good. That lizard, that lizard alien dude right there. That's awesome. Dude, this monkey is hilarious. And then my soul gets quiet because he's doing things like this. <laughs> like, what the heck? It's, it's, you know, it's like a Picasso, dude. Yeah. You know? Yeah, look. It, went, it goes from funny to psychological real quick. Like soul deep cringing stuff. Yeah. Whoa. I like it when he gets into it. When he really gets into it, he does some crazy stuff. I met him when I was like 12. And then oh, for I, real? Yeah, I used to watch him draw at the Six Flags Commander Mountain. 
Wow. And then I used to, I, I sat there watching them like almost half, half, half of my whole day there instead of being with my family. And I didn't know one day I'd be eventually be working with this guy. I've always wanted to meet him too. It's like, dude, I really want to meet this guy. There was another guy. His name was Stephen Beers. I never met that guy. But I, I, I met him when I left. When I left Magic Mountain and never came back, I went there just to visit, and I ran into the legendary Stephen Beers. That's a that's a guy should post, but Stephen Beers. Oh, guess what? Armando was roommates. Guess with who? Who? Cleet Shields. Oh, for real? Their no friends. way. Yeah. No way. Wow. They used to be roommates. That's crazy. Yeah, him and Cleek go back. Another talented, ta very, very talented guy, man. I know. You guys want to know who Cleek is? You should. You guys should follow him. He did characters along with this. Uh, search. There he is. That's Cleek, everybody. Yep. Dude, these are good, huh? So good. So good. What the freak? So good, man. One of these days, I want to get one of his sculptures, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I've never met Clee, but I did. I did send him a message saying that Peter wants to talk to you, and then I connected him and Peter Grant all together. Wow, oh, this one, man. What the hell? Ugh, another level of design, bro. All right, everybody, I'll let you guys go, but I thought I'd post that. See you later. Have a good one, guys.